Another township in Malawi which faces hardship is Salima. Agriculture is the main livelihood of the residents in the area. However, most residents remain vulnerable and deprived of their livelihood due to intense alternating droughts and floods caused by El Nino. Para matugunan ang food gaps na inaasahang tatagal ng dalawa hanggang apat na buwan, ay nangangailangan ng salima ng humanitarian assistance. Kaya naman ang Iglesia ni Cristo ay patuloy na tumutugon hindi lang sa pagkakaloob ng care packages, kundi maging ng hanap buhay sa pamamagitan ng eco-farming projects nito. Sinamahan ni Tony Pet Gaba ang aktibidad na iyan sa Africa. Panoorin natin ito. Pante instruction of Brother Rivaldo Manalo, our executive minister, beginning tomorrow, going to start being a worker of this farm. It was on this exact spot, just a few years ago, where Brother Glicerio Santos Jr. announced a decision made by our beloved executive minister, Brother Eduardo V. Manalo. A decision that would change lives for the better that hundreds of residents from these parts of Malawi were to have jobs and sustenance via two parcels of fertile land. One of its beneficiaries is one of its first farmers, William Gama. My name is William Gama. I'm 48 years old. I'm working at Nagondwa as a task manager. Hello, William. Hello, Tony. <laughs> how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm fine. I'm good. Welcome I'm good. to Nakondo Eco Farm. This is the Nakondo Eco Farm, as you see. Uh, it's 258 hectares. Uh, here in this uh, country, Malawi, over 70% of uh, its citizens yes. are into agriculture. The Church of Christ bought these two farms. Uh, more people uh, get an opportunity to, to come to work so that they can uh, end their living. Uh, my name is Abel Gawa. I'm a pump, uh, pump, uh, water pump operator. Uh, working uh, 4 o'clock in the morning to make sure that the, the water everywhere because we use the, the same water to getting the, the crops. My name is Zinis Kadula. 35 years old. Tell us more about the Echo Farm. How has it helped you and your brethren? Sa pamamagitan po ng Echo Farming, dito na rin po mismo sila nakakakuha ng kanilang pagkain sa araw-araw. Di na po sila lalayo. Narito na po lahat yung kanilang pangangailangan. Before it was, was helped uh, hundreds, but right now, or thousands of people are being helped. When we are in need, the Church of Christ is there holding us, lifting up our life. It's a big day for the Eco Farm compound, for their Care for Humanity event has arrived. William is also in charge of giving last minute instructions and tickets for recipients of the care packages. Straight from working in the farms, our workers are excitedly rushing to get to the Care for Humanity site. When we saw the ministers come in, even though it's dark, we are also touched, you know, uh, we are a little cared. Itong mga sunod-sunod po na lingap na ginagawa natin dito sa kontinente ng Afrika ay nagagawa natin dahil sa pagtulong-tulong ng mga kapatid sa loob ng Iglesia ni Cristo na lingapin ang mga nangangailangan. Here in Malawi, the one who commemorating his birthday uh, is the one who received the gift. But in the Church of Christ, uh, 
under the leadership of brother Eduardo Manalo is very different because him instead of receiving the gift from us he is giving gift to us it is now night time and Alex is finally home he lives just a few miles from the eco farm compound his area has no power supply a perennial problem that has always beset huge parts of rural Malawi. And even with no electricity, a steady current of generosity flows freely. Sa anim na taon po ng aming pananatili po dito sa kontinente ng Africa, amin pong personal po na nasaksihan kung paano po isinasagawa ng Iglesia ni Kristo ang paglingap po sa maraming tao sa kontinenteng ito. Ang inihanda pong paglingap ng Iglesia ni Kristo ay hindi lamang po para po sa mga kapatid sa Kaputo Eco Farm at Nakondwa Eco Farm, kundi maging sa ibang mga nakatira pa po sa komunidad malapit po sa eco farming ng Iglesia ni Kristo. Ngayong ako'y miyembro na ng Iglesia ni Cristo, nakita ko po ng personal kung paano nga bang genuine na nabibigyan natin ng tulong at paglingap ang ating mga kapatid. At sa Malawi, Afrika ko pa ito natunghayan. Isang malaking biyaya po talaga. Bukod sa Eco Farms, patuloy po ang pagbibigay ng consistent na suporta, mga programa at events na katulad ng Care for Humanity para sa kanila. Nakabubusog po ng puso na makita silang masaya, nabibigyan ng lingap at nabibigyan ng pag-asa sa ang panig man ng mundo. With constant support and guidance and with the seeds of love and kindness planted by the Iglesia de Cristo and of course spearheaded by our beloved Executive Minister, Brother Eduardo V. Marnalo, the future grows brighter for everyone here at La Condua and Caputo Eco Farms and all over. From Salima, Malawi, Tony Petgaba for our worldwide Lingap sa Mamamayan special coverage. <laughs>